Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, my name is Plummy and in this video I'm going to continue my reactions to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2003 series. Uh, specifically the episodes I'm going to be reacting to are going to be episode 13, The Journal, episode 14, The Gaminator and episode 15, Graduation Day of 2105. But before we get into the reaction, I just want to address something that you've probably already noticed. Uh, that being that the, the quality of the, of the video is much higher uh, That is because I've got myself a new phone with actually a really really good camera Honestly, I'm surprised by how good this camera is. I think it's essentially 25 uh, Megapixels or something I'm not sure the phone uh, that I used to use to record was my Samsung G4 plus Meanwhile, the phone that I'm using right now is Samsung A30s. And the funny thing is, I only got it for $35, uh, dollars, essentially. It's because my phone plan was ending, so they, uh, uh, the operator that I'm using gave me the possibility to re-sign re and get this cool phone. And I just wanted to share that with you. So yeah, my videos are gonna be higher quality because of that. Though I'm still probably not gonna put them on, on, on like 1080p because that ends up being a quite a huge file and I'm still on kind of a limited inter internet so I can't make my videos uh, too big. Like if a video is bigger than 2 uh, gigabytes and it's not a gaming video, I tend to not upload but so far also that hasn't happened. But yeah, I went on a bit of a tangent, so uh, let's get back into the reaction. Uh, let's start with episode 13, the journal. Although before we get into it, I forgot to mention that actually these three episodes are the three episodes of uh, season six, which I have seen several times, actually. Uh, I definitely remember the journal and graduation day of 2105, uh, watching them when I saw this season uh, for the first time on TV. It was, I think, in 2010, which was like a decade ago. Uh, so, yeah, I guess without further ado, let's get into the journal in three, two, one. So essentially, I know the plots of this episode, or at least the journal and You're finished, uh, the graduation day one. In this one, I think they were going to find uh, the journal which tells uh, that they go back in time, but Cody intentionally changed what was written in it. Very collectible. All of our old stuff is. Wow. Casey and April must have saved all the stuff after we. I actually left. quite like this episode. My first wooden practice sword. Ah, the first shell cell. Yeah, kind of makes you miss the old lair, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Well, I say getting all misty about the past is just another way for Mikey to get out of work. Hey, give me back my superposable, highly collectible action figures. Mikey, you're got a bit of an overkill for On that boy. Jesus, guys, can you not break something for one episode? Whoa, guys, it's the journal. Journal? Casey and April's journal? As in the journal we're never ever supposed to read? Because it contains entries about our entire lives, even the parts we haven't lived yet? Stuff that happens to us after we get back from 2105. Me first! That would be most unwise, my son. So obviously they're gonna do it. Because that's who the turtles yeah, are. Daddy, for shame. Reading the contents of that book would mean certain doom. My sons, I know you are curious, but having knowledge... Of but that would make it a fixed point in time, which means because you know what's going to happen, you cannot change it. Because if you didn't know what was going to happen, then there's no reason why you would have changed it. Master Splinter is right, guys. Trust me. I've been dying to talk to you about what's in this book, but I know that if I told you about what happens to you, once you get back to your time, your whole lives could be dragged. But Cody, scientists theorize that there may be more than one future, depending upon what choices each of us makes along the way. Precisely my point, Donatello. 
You will make choices based upon what you read in the journal. Choices that you would not otherwise make without learning the knowledge contained therein. Mikey! If cody can show restraint, the least you can do is show the same. Michael Ashalo! Uh, okay! Good one, Splinter. That's no -no. I good get parenting. It. And I know I sounded a bit sarcastic, <laughs> but I genuinely meant that. Future. First you'll clean that mess in the hangar, then the portents tell me the toilets will shine. Should I lock this thing away somewhere, Master Splinter? Yes. No, that will not be necessary. Should my sons decide not to heed our warning, they will have to learn their lesson the hard way. Oh, so they have already switched it with the fake one, okay. Because of course the, the turtles are gonna do it. <laughs> Save it, Raph. Nice one. It seems we all have the same problem sleeping. Isn't that right, Donatello? Okay, I'm busted. That journal's all I've been thinking about. Yeah, it's like I know I should know, but I gotta know. You know? No, I don't know. Guess we're all partners in crime now. But we're missing a partner. Where's Mikey? Okay, Mikey. Where are you? Surprise! I'm in disguise! I'm a box turtle, get it? More like a jerk in the box. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're gonna do this, let's do this together. This first section is by Casey. How can you tell? Root beer and burger stains, and every other word is misspelled. <laughs> it was coming up on a month after the guys oh, pulled their big pigs. disappearing act. And we were starting to lose it. I mean, a world without the guys? Forget about it. Yes, look, Casey. The hey, April and Casey stronger. don't look like completely hey, different people as they will next season. And that, gentlemen, is how you kick space and time in the. Guys! <laughs> Casey! that again without a doubt it was the happiest day of my life good thing too because it wasn't too long before everything went straight to shell it was so great to have it's weird to hear in cases swear like that cool all the time because i know the turtles swear but it's like it's like their thing home sweet home man i never thought i could actually miss the stench of chelsea on garbage night well you didn't lose your gift for poetry rap Hey, so tell me, what happens to me in the future? I get my own hockey team, Mayor of New York, President they of the USA? They weren't at that point in the future. Dude, Master Splinter says revealing knowledge of the future is like strictly forbidden. We can't just tell you what's gonna happen. Uh, but you could read uh, the journal. Hey, Silver Century. Oh, Personally, my. the story of Donatello is me. my favorite. The 13th. Why? You got a hot date? Huh? Who knew how smart I was? Mikey did have a date. With Destiny. Because he knew from reading this journal in the future that Silver Century needed him tonight. Okay, so they... I mean, it makes sense, I guess, that they already have written it in this alternative timeline. Or fake, uh... Journal. That's a cool excuse for a filler episode, I gotta say. Turtle Titan? How did you know I was in trouble? Um... My turtle sense was tingling? <laughs> yeah. Good thing, too. This wasn't just about me. The entire Justice Force is in danger. Shall we save the day together, partner? Hell yeah! I mean, yes, sir! 
Oh, they definitely are. What is nano shooting? Piss. Up much longer. We're a sentry. I can't believe we were snookered by him. Uh. Big bad Pinky Boy don't want to play no more. Dr. Mowignan says for me to give you a timeout. Okay. Yeah. Normally I'm not this mean, but that is one ugly baby. Careful, Titan. Pinky Boy uses alien technology to. What's he gonna do? Drool on me? Silver Sentry and Pet Froggy? No fair! Consider this baby specked, partner! Wait, Wait we he, he, does he have his ninjaka from the. Bad from the future? I don't think that's a good idea to time, use in the past. Justice Force? Oh. And. Interesting thing, and kind of annoying if you think about it, at least personally, I think so, is how after they come back from the future to the past, they hit some technology that shouldn't exist. And I get it, Donatello might have learned it from the future, but it's kind of a stretch. Like, it goes past suspension of disbelief. The greatest heroes of all time turned into drooling, pooping thumbsuckers. Because of me? Because we read this journal. Look, next part's about you. But you're not gonna read it. Gonna walk the high path, right? Right. So you read it. Honestly, well, the concept listen. of the, I love the concept it of time travel. Exactly how I play. Because if you think about it, everything is are. in flux until so they easy. read it. I've hardly had time to run. But what does so it determine to what's gonna happen? The guy happening actually when they Leo read it was called to Japan by the mighty ninja tribunal. You have been asked to return so that we may fully train you in the ancient arts as a master, Leonardo, son of Splinter. This is the greatest of all possible honors. Congratulations. The two of you begin training immediately. Two? Two of us? Konnichiwa, Leonardo san. It is what? good to see you again. Karai. I mean, duh, it makes sense, I guess. You should be meditating, Acolyte. I know, but Shikara Shisho, I, I have knowledge that there is a traitor among us, here in the temple. A prophecy. It said someone would threaten the tribunal from within. Prophecy is a powerful thing, Leonardo, but it can be misinterpreted. Have faith in the tribunal and set your visions aside until you have the skills. I don't remember exactly what Donatello's sto uh, Leonardo's story was. A traitor? But yeah. I predict he's gonna turn out to Leonardo. be the traitor for some reason. History doesn't fly! I read it myself in Casey's journal. But who? You and I are the only acolytes, and the shredder is long gone. But his daughter isn't. <sighs> What's that supposed to mean, Leonardo? All that we have been through. I sincerely hope that was just idle theory. So but yes, he's going to be the it traitor, was yes. Logic to Leo. The tribunal was above suspicion. But Karai? She had been the shredder once. So I guess she gave it up. Was a traitor, at this point. It had to be her. Leo tried to purge himself of these thoughts. But he couldn't. He obsessed on Karai, watching, waiting for her to strike. Until... It will happen... tonight. Father... I knew it! Leonardo, no! Have you gone mad? I know what I saw, traitor. No, Leo, you're the traitor. Leonardo, lay down your arms at once. Karai is the traitor. She has the Shredder's helmet. And tonight... Tonight, she is finally going to lay that demon to rest in a burial ceremony. It was here well, why didn't you tell Kuka. Leonardo in that case? And it is here that his daughter will finally be free of his legacy. 
But the prophecy... Yes, Leonardo. Your prophecy has been fulfilled. Someone has threatened the Tribunal from within. You! You have fulfilled your own prophecy, and for your arrogance, you are exiled from this temple. Wait, wait, wait. That can't be right. The journal can't be all gloom and doom, right? I already know I did something positive. I helped build O'Neill Temple. Okay, here we go. Hit the ground running when he got back. He had a million ideas to explore after seeing the future. Yep. Cool. But you guys fixed the then going to the future already changes the past. Ripe. Close case. It's a fusion generator. I studied these in the future. Figured we could build one now. Casey, hand me that frasmat, please. That's wrong. You got it. We did it! We've created the world's first compact fusion generator! We rock so hard! Yeah! <laughs> what? I added you that frasis stat thing, right? I mean, he's not wrong. Casey raised the capital to build more generators, while Don and I cranked out more inventions. Oh yeah, he totally doesn't the look like a turtle. The advent of generators clean power meant the end to Earth's energy crisis. Oil so essentially Donatello uh, is who created uh, the future Earth. that we Among them, see. Many more Utrams. Of course, our old friends were pleased to see humanity had finally caught up with their expectations. As a congratulatory gesture, the Utrams offered Donatello a tour of the universe. Of course, natural-born explorer that he was, he jumped at the chance. It was the last time we ever saw him. Well, he's dead. The collision with the meteorite was terrible, but... Thanks to Utram technology, the crew survived. Donatello was badly injured, but alive. If you call what happened next, living. Say what? The Utrams rushed on to their finest medical facility. You were in a terrible accident, but our science is advanced enough to have seen. I mean, if well, what happens to, to him here is true, wouldn't he remember it? Don't worry, we're not going to leave a revered genius lying around as a disembodied brain. Ah, here you are. Welcome to your new body. We call it... The Serling Unit! Gruesome! <laughs> Has ninja time been rescheduled? <laughs> 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 I mean, what I can remember it if that was him. Give me that. See, you guys blew it with your morals and your and your brains and your kookiness. I just want to go and home also, and And also, why would the Utrams create nothing a huge gets me in trouble. body like that? Like, Raph came back from if I was in Donatello's situation, I would want life. the closest like equivalent to my old body. Life. Or maybe just a perfect version of my old body. Zip it, Lunkhead, or you ruin it. And miss the rumble to end all rumbles. Holy Mamerinek! The purple dragons! In this stinking leader hut! I've been waiting to settle with him forever! How did you know we'd be here? Future knowledge, Pally. Now, is it ninja time or is it ninja time? Move it, dragons! Every oh, second I think we I remember what was going to happen pockets. here. Hmm? Look at this, a freak and a geek. You picked the wrong night, jerks. Uh, we win this fight, right? Hey, the journal supplied the who, where, and when. All we gotta supply is the wax. Uh, later, when the cops arrived and made their way through the sea of punks, a rookie wrote in his report. It was like someone waged a war in Manhattan. And he was right. We came, we saw, we clobbered! Raffle, pal, that was truly the best night of my life ever. What the hell? 
foot, Mystic. I didn't read about any. Oh, yeah. Where in the... Raph and I were stuck on that island for three years before being rescued. During that time, April married some other dude, thinking I went to the big ice rink in the sky. O'Neill Tech fell apart, April was too upset to work, so some skell named Darius Dunn oh. bought the joint. Manufactured a bunch of junky tech that shot global warming through the roof. I mean, but if that was the true, of the earth like a red hot oven, they wouldn't be alive in the future. After a while, we changed and evolved in the mole people. Okay, at this point, they should know that it's complete Jersey. bullshit. They went first. You gotta be kidding me. I made mole people? We can't let that happen. There has to be something we can do. It's Maybe, bullshit! I How are you so Somehow stupid? Didn't forget all this. Quick, someone hit me! I want amnesia! Wait a minute. Hold on. If that last story was true, then how come both O'Neill Tech and Cody exist here in the future? Exactly! And why aren't there mole people running around? Raph's B.O. offends their molish star-shaped noses? <laughs> you are so big-time busted. As I said, Cody-san, if my sons would not heed our warning, they would have to learn the hard way. And a funny way. I love Sorry, how this guys. season Splitter is more laid Splinter back and joking. A a fine work I wish it was the result of character Except development, but I'll take it. Tired by then. But perhaps now you understand why one must not alter the hand of fate. Do you see how even good intentions might result in disaster if you were to act upon foreknowledge? I mean, the they say, uh, yes, master. the road to hell is paved we with promise. good intentions. We'll never open that book again. We won't even look at it. You got that right. Really? Honest. I don't get it, Cody. How do you do it? How do you keep that stuff a secret? Oh, it's easy. I know how the story ends, and you guys are gonna love it. Yeah. We'll see about that when we get to Season 7. But yeah, uh, as I said, this is a pretty fun, although filler episode, but this kind of season, this season is kind of mostly filler, and most seasons of TMNT... I mean, I don't know if the word filler really applies to this show as a whole, because... It's very hard to tell what should be constituted as filler, but I guess this one fits because it doesn't move the story along, it's just a one-off, uh, cool concept kind of episode, and I did enjoy it. It's interesting, um, and it kind of addresses a little at least the fact that uh, they'll have the knowledge, uh, knowledge from the future when they go back to the past, although I would have liked if they actually delved specifically into that but they kind of addressed it not really but good enough for me yeah this was a really fun episode personally i'm gonna give this one an 8.2 out of 10 because actually no 8.5 out of 10 i'm gonna give it because it is a really cool uh concept uh although i think the turtles should have realized that it was complete bullshit earlier and like if they read, it, it also doesn't make sense, like, if they read the events, like, if Raph reads uh, that he is gonna go and beat uh, the purple dragons, wouldn't it be written who wins? Like, I don't know. It was fun. Not flawless, but fun. And yeah, I guess let's continue with the next episode, The Gaminator. Okay. In three, two, one. The Digigame Convention. This one Welcome I the newest remember the least out of the three, but judging planet. by the title, I so think I know what's speed. going to be about. Don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
I assume they're gonna be trapped in the video game because with a episode in the future you cannot do something like that you cannot not do something like that I mean roll up your tongue dude you're about to drool on my toe imagine the fastest game system you've ever played then double it triple it quadruple it the Gameinator has a new state-of-the-art neural interface which promises the most realistic game environments yet. Why, I'd say it'll revolutionize the digi-game industry. But I don't want to be accused of selling the Gameinator short. We'll take it. Of course you will. But not for at least a year. It's still in beta testing. Aww. Here we go viral again. I mean, she could. Uh, she already could do that in the dojo. I think it will be very similar to that uh, Secret Origins out. episode from I season have a two. I plan that will destroy your enemies forever. It's ninja time! Oh, we actually got the intro this time. Actually, we really like this theme song. Forward, fast forward. Teenage with the Ninja Turtles. I love this beat. It's really catchy. It's not as good as the original one, and I'm talking the one from season one, and season two, because they kind of changed the lyrics a little. But it's a fun. It fits with the season. I say the season 7 theme song is the worst one. Teenage with the Ninja Turtles, fast forward, Teenage with the Ninja Turtles. Master Cody, a delivery has arrived for you, sir. A rather large crate from Gameinator Systems. <laughs> Gameinator Systems? <laughs> but it was supposed to be a one year from now. Come on, come on, come on! Make it open! Make it open! Oh. Gameinator prototype? Oh. But how? Dear Mr. Jones, Gameinator Systems wishes to apologize for our salesman's failure to recognize you yesterday. We would be honored if you would be among the first to test our new game system. If you like it, perhaps O'Neill Tech might be interested in assisting with the system's manufacture. Wow! Huh, that's an interesting idea. No wonder they sent this over for free. Just one butt? Remember what the man said? Neural interface. Basically, the game registers nerve impulses from a player and translates them into commands. How do we turn this thing on? The They're gonna be sick into the game. Be able to detect Definitely. Players and turn on automatically. Whoa! Dungeonator! Swampinator! Terminator! Well, which game do you guys want to play first? Dungeonator. It sounds creepy, unless it's too scary for witty bitty baby Mikey. In your dreams, Dungeonator it is! Mikey, you want to do the honors? Just give the thought. Wait a sec! We're forgetting our generous benefactor! What do you say, Code? There's only four controllers. You want to go first? Nah, you guys go ahead. I'll take winners. Then let the games begin! So Viral did take, yep. I knew it. What's happening? Guys? Oh, uh, guys? Guys, this may sound crazy, but we seem to be inside the Gameinator program. Was that I've supposed to work like this? Gameplay, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> no, that's Maybe we awesome. Should have waited until they finished testing the thing. Don, how is this possible? Our bodies got sucked into a video game? No, our minds did. 
We're connected to the game through the neural interface. Have you seen the princess? I must find the princess. Princess? You gotta be kidding me. We got our own problems, pal. Must find the princess. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know not to be rude to non-player characters in an adventure game? Yeah, because they constantly get pissed at you if you don't side the with game, them. Mikey. I'm looking at you, Kenny, from The Walking Dead. Viral. Welcome, turtles, to my world. <laughs> oh no! Well, Cory, don't just stand Enjoy there. Help them in some way. Horse. Again, this is another cool uh, episode with a cool concept. Why? To destroy you, of course. Master Cody, I took the liberty of preparing... Serling, I need your help. The guys are in trouble. Really? And here I was about to compliment them on being so well behaved for a change. <laughs> Viral linked their minds to the game uh... The whole thing was a trap. Oh, well, trap. Blessing. It's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Sterling. Honestly, when I was little, I fucking hated Sterling, but I'm so enjoying him and relating him so much. Like, it's the same way like with SpongeBob. When you're a kid, you hate Squidward. When you're an adult, you relate to him. What's happening to us? She's gonna transport their minds out of the game through the power conduit. We can't let her. Serling? What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> sir. I was just tidying up a bit. You touched them, but you weren't zapped. The neuralizing field only affects organics. You're the key to saving them. <laughs> of course. Me overjoyed, sir. Uh. I'm open to suggestions. I love Serling. Quietly and accept your fate. I wasn't talking to you. Look, a glitch. Beg your pardon. No, a glitch. A mistake in the game programming. The system's still in beta testing. Which means what? Maybe it means that passing through might disrupt the upload of our files. But it depends on the program architecture, RAM capacity of the unit. Boring! Let's talk more! Wow! He might have just died no. right there. I guess that's my cat for you. Ugh. Only a human could write such an inept program. You wanna play games? Fine! I finally get it! Video games are bad for you! Where well, when people now? say that, they don't mean this. We must this. have landed inside another one of the game programs. Yeah! This is that Swappinator game we saw before! It's the wickedest platformer since Super Fabio Brothers! Check it out! To get to the other side, you've got to use the rocks and stumps and those vines. All the while trying to avoid getting done in by whatever horrible monsters lurk within. You fall into the swamp... You die. It's turtle soup time. In other words, total game over. I can't wait to play it. Mikey. Once uh, we get out of here. You mean if? No, I tell you've gotten out from much worse. Remember when you were stranded at the other end of the universe? I really wish I'd paid less attention in training and played more video games. <laughs> <laughs> can't we just buy you four new pets? All right. <laughs> I can't touch the system directly, but you can. So you're hardwired into the Gaminator CPU, and using you as an interface, I can hack the system and beat Viral at her own game. I hope. Will this be dangerous, sir? Look out! <laughs> Never mind. Farewell, sir. 
Look, he's gonna get transported into the, into the game too, I guess. Honestly, if cartoons today were like this, like if they were still action focused while having jokes like this, even though it's a more of a focus on jokes than older seasons, I wouldn't be so angry, but nowadays it's all about the jokes. And I've talked about it several times, but I just wanted to say it again, because I watched a video talking about Rise of TMNT. Haven't you ever played a video game before? Sheesh! Whoa! What happened to sending us to your master? Shokanabo can have the scraps! Shokanabo? Great! <laughs> Don't. Nice one, dude. Keep going. I can't see. Look. Man, I really hate bugs. Yeah, we know that. You can call them Cretans. <laughs> oh man. The boy. Yes, in your hollow screen viral, you're not the only one who can hack a video game. Now to download the guys a few cheat codes and find them a way out of there. Oh, we're in New York, I guess. Master Cody is a genius, isn't he? The yes, he is. did make the heroic sacrifice. Perhaps I ought to have my own orchestral soundtrack. <laughs> Where did you put us? Frankly, Was that breaking no the fourth wall? Master Cody is pillaging the Gaminator system for cheat codes, as he puts it. One such code got us here. He's uploading more on the fly. <laughs> he better hurry it up. Something tells me we've reached the big boss level. Big boss level? That's where you meet up with the biggest, baddest monster of all. Yeah, but before you get there, you have gained up a lot of levels. die like five or six times before I finally figure out how to beat the big boss. Yeah. You're really enjoying this way too much, Mikey. It's getting closer. Whoa. Is right. I think I like the bugs better. Allow me to give her the what for. Oh, do over. More like game over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not talking. The, uh as much during this one as the last one, just there isn't much to comment on. And I'm a bit tired. Because I haven't slept uh, last night. There's gotta be some way I can give the guys an edge. Well, Barry, you better hurry up, Cody, because... 
<laughs> They're not gonna survive longer. Do you understand now? Give them weapons, I guess. In your world, I'm just a program. But here, I am digital power incarnate. You could have just said God. Begin batch download. Dissecting files for transfer. Oh, dear. What? Serling, hit viral with this cheat code or... Can they stop falling on each other? You. <laughs> I wasn't hardwired for this. Well, what were you ha hardwired for? I mean, that's for power up. That just giving them base level weapons. Our weapons. All right, Cody. It's ninja time. Oh, I thought we were over that phase. Oh, that's a cool soundtrack they had. Looks like the big boss just got a little bit smaller. You cannot beat me. You see, I have access to how would you say it? Unlimited help. Well, that's not fair. You are obsolete programs, turtles. Not fit to empty the trash bin of the ultimate virus. All right, Cody. If you can hear us, it looks like we're going to be needing some extra lives. You got it, Don. Extra lives all at once. I mean, I don't think that's Let's what uh, they meant, but sure. I think I remember this scene. Cool. Too bad they're so ugly. It's hilarious. I love it. Now that is one handsome cheat code. <laughs> Where's you and Donnie? There's... There they are. Oh my god, this is giving me a bit of a trypophobia. now lowering the neuralizing field goodbye mikey pcs <laughs> we rock at last i'm getting out of this dreadful place good riddance oh, <laughs> oh my god they're still standing like that get off of me that almost made it all worthwhile. <laughs> almost. <laughs> yeah, sort of like seeing you take a header into a wall. Ingrates. <laughs> that laugh was so good. Screens, do not activate that game. Do not. <laughs> oh my <It's> god. Ninja <laughs> time. No, I just love how, how he said it. Like, they so love knowing him. It's awesome. Okay, uh, this was another fun episode. I'd say this one was more fun. There, not as much happened, or at least there wasn't as much to comment on as the last one. But this one was more fun and interesting, I guess, because as most people on the internet, I guess, I love playing video games. So... It was kind of interesting to watch because of that. Uh, but yeah, my favorite uh, moment is definitely here the ending uh, with how they throwed uh, Serling. Why, why, why do they hate each other so much? 
But I gotta say, I now understand why uh, he's gonna come back with them in the past, or at least why the writers decide to send him back to the past. Because uh, the whole relationship and bickering between the turtles and Serling is so fun to watch, honestly. It's one of the best things about this season. But yeah, um, I guess I'm gonna give this one an 8.6 out of 10, although it's pretty much on par with the other one in terms of creativity and interesting writing and everything. Uh, I guess this one at least kind of did something about the plot a little. And um, there was something else I wanted to mention but I forgot, so if I remember it, I'm gonna mention it later, but yeah, I, I, can't, I just can't think of it right now. But yeah, it was a, it was a fun episode. Uh, so I guess let's get into the last one, uh, that being graduation day of 2105. In 3, 2, 1. It's only, it's only 20, 20 yards away. away. How, How hard can it be to bring the glass to Master Splinter without a drop hitting the, the floor? Oh, I forgot the headphones. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. Nice try. Master Splinter said we need to be invisible, indestructible, and show insight. I guess I was a little too visible. So let's not be. Rat, go to that corner, quietly, and stay in the shadows. Got it. He can literally... It's Leo, not that dark. That he can corner. see you. I'll assume that's not your whole plan. Yep, he literally can see you. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I get it now. When an adversary is distracted, chances are he won't see. Now what, genius? Donnie's got the glass, but he doesn't have it to splinter yet. <laughs> Easy Splinter, you're gonna kill them! The glass. Right. Where's Mikey? No. He drunk it. I bring you your glass, Master. <laughs> Without a drop of it hitting the floor. Technically. Well done, Donatello. But what insight have you gained? Truth is in the details. You said bring you the glass, not what was in it. Oh, learning sure is fun. Donatello. I mean, it is. Raphael. Especially if you're not the one experiencing it firsthand. Indestructibility and insight. The three pillars of the ninja rank of Chunin. Only the most dedicated and talented of ninja advance to this next level of training. I am extremely proud to grant this honor and all of its privileges. Hold up! Hold up! Sorry, dudes! That last level of Helix 2.0 was gnarly! Lost track of time! What did I miss? You have lost track of a great deal more than just time, Michelangelo. When your brothers enjoy their hard-earned graduation tomorrow night, you will not be participating. Well, you don't have to be so harsh about it. Michelangelo has been spending more time playing vid games than he has working on home. Please don't call them vid games. Skills. Never again. Well, sometimes. Last month you missed all your strength building sessions. Oh, yeah. Last That's month, how long have you been 29. there? I mean, it's I been 15 episodes, but still. So he missed a few sessions. He still got the skills, right, Mikey? Absurd. <laughs> God damn it. Michelangelo, your weapons 
are an extension of yourself. Laziness and frivolous distractions have taken you from the true path. Frivolous? I'm serious about my distractions. <laughs> That's not what he meant, Mikey. Oh, master, can we cut Mikey some slack? Think of all his hard work when he... Played the game? Give me a minute. Master, moving up to tune in without Mikey just wouldn't seem right. Indeed, we shall see. We shall see. I'll show Master Splinter. I'm gonna work triple hard. Don't look Sorry, at it, Mikey. Problem. Off you! Well, I guess I better save the game. Hey! Only six bosses to the next level! Then I can save it and be in great shape when I'm done training! And... Yeah. He did it again. <laughs> wow, you're ugly! Take that! <laughs> Huh? What's that? How you like that? Wow, you're really emphasizing it. Master? Or is this dream number two? Ow! I am very real, Michelangelo. I have come at the behest of your brothers to give you a final chance to join them as Tunin. Oh, thank you, Master. I have so learned my lesson. Clearly. So you will perform a training task so difficult that it will require every ounce of skill and focus that you have mastered thus far. Ready, willing, and incredibly able! I'm there! Hand me your nunchakus. Sure, they're... They're gone! They will we have to find them now? I never go anywhere without Chuck and Chuck 2 the sequel! Boys, it's not nice to play hide and seek on daddy. Boys, I can't believe this. Who would take my chucks? I took your nunchakus, Michelangelo. Oh. When you fell asleep playing your game. Ha! <laughs> well, you sure showed me, Master Splinter. Lesson learned. Now, can I please have them back? No. <gasps> I separated one of your nunchakus into three pieces. Two sticks and the cable. Your brothers have hidden them in the city at my instruction. To retrieve each piece and restore your weapon, you must embody the three pillars. Invisibility of body. Oh, that's cool. Indestructibility of spirit. Insight of mind. It's a shame that only Mikey gets episodes like this, or at least as much. I would, uh, it would be cool if this was like a four-parter, but I guess that would be a bit too much. Maybe a two-parter with half an episode covering each turtle. Because that would be really cool. Even better! Great! All I gotta do is get past all three of my brothers before dinner. How hard could that be? Never say that. Hello? Before you're going to do Rose? something really hard. Little Lost Ninja here. Hold on. Hmm. Maybe more than meets the eye. Whoa. Tough room to be invisible in. Let's see what he's going to do. But if I swing down and snatch the chuck piece before Bro Leo sees me, that's gotta be as good as being invisible. I mean, that's essentially what's asked for you of you. Quietly, quietly, Maybe if you quietly. don't say quietly, it would be quiet. Mikey? Oh, he's got it totally rigged. Although Splinter always says, turn your opponent's strengths against him. I'm on it! Upon further reflection, I just need a little more time to polish my act. Wow, that was so bad. 
If that's Mikey, he's not off to a very invisible start. Sorry, Leo. Gotcha. I love when Mikey's good like this. Stealing your opponent's when he like when he actually tries, he's such a good nice ninja. Move, bro, but it gets harder as you advance. Master Splinter set it up. If you said it gets easier, then I'd be nervous. You would think Leo would be left as the last one, not Donnie. So all I Donnie. gotta do is skate out there and grab the chuck piece? Kind of. Why do I gotta be indestructible to do that? <laughs> Remember all those gags you pulled on me? Drawing on my face when I'm sleeping? Hot sauce in my cereal? Smoke bombs in the toilet? <laughs> yeah, I'm the best. Well, today it's payback time. Cody? Uh oh. So, uh, who are these guys? O'Neill Tech's robot hockey team has the week off. Of course. Master Splinter knew you wouldn't want it to be too easy. Oh, and check this out. Oh, so Rap is going to enjoy it from afar. He's not gonna participate. That's a shame. Great. They're 20 feet tall, and they're gonna trash talk me? Ladies and Oh, dude, that's even better. Let the mangling uh the match begin. Indestructible! Indestructible! It's gotta be less painful than destructible, but how do you do it? It's an incredible display of, uh, well, it ain't courage, um... Ineptitude? Maybe I just grab the chuck piece and get out of here! Be like the ice! Be like the ice! Hurt. Not really, he Don't didn't hit the the, the parts of the goal to hit the net. Wow, he's losing very fast. Truly, this event will be a masterclass lesson in pain. There's no way to overpower these guys! Wait, I know! Your mama is so ugly, she couldn't get a date with a trash compactor! <laughs> yeah. Did you hear him? He says you can't hold your lubricant! Why would that piss him off? They're taking the gloves off! Looks like they've had enough of this upstart! I can't believe he actually managed to make them fight each other. What the young turtle lacks in size, he makes up in being extremely annoying. <laughs> indestructible is as indestructible does. You can't say Mikey didn't earn his chuck piece, but frankly, this reporter would have liked to see more carnage. You're watching the wrong season then. I tried to get them all, but even the Robo Dojo has its limits. So to get the last piece of my chuck, I have to beat them all? Sweet! Nope. Sorry, bro. Your test is for insight. Not always on the top of your list. Your chuck piece is somewhere in this warehouse. It's your job to determine which of the things in this arcade has been holding you back the most. Then smash it and grab the chuck piece. I can inside. tell you what it is. Helix 2. Inside schminsight. I'll just smash away until I find it! Her mind is a terrible thing to waste. Ha! Ah, shell invaders! Man, it's prehistoric! Ah, you never forget the first time you fall in love. 
Maybe these little dudes started me down the wrong path. I mean, I get that it's bad for him to play so many video games, but he's in the fucking future. What else is there to do? Like in general, why does he even train to uh, to be a ninja anymore? So I guess he can't destroy every game because then uh, the enemies from the game are going to appear. What just happened? You guessed wrong. Every time you show a lack of insight, your bad choice will emerge and attack you. Great! I guess wrong enough that every video game villain in history will be after me! I don't think you've played that many video games. What's holding me back? What's holding me back? Rackman! No, too obvious! Robot Tortoise 4! Nice. I think Helix 2 Go is choose. a bit too obvious, but it can't be anything else, really. I know Helix 2 has been holding me back! What? It wasn't Helix 2? Then what it is? Getting kind of crowded in here, bro. I actually have no idea what it is then. Himself? Those helixes weren't so tough inside the game. Would it be himself in that case? If I don't get an insight soon, it's gonna be game over for me. Yep. I knew it. Nice spot you got yourself in, pal. Gonna be held back while your bros move on to bigger and better things. I guess I'm smarter than a ten-year-old. Since I got that. Hey, wait a minute. The thing that's really holding me back hasn't been the video games. It's been me. Mm. Hope that I'm right. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. That is gonna be worse if you break the mirror. Are you gonna get seven years of bad luck? Insight! It's a tuning thing! I knew you could do it, Mikey! Graduation! Party of four? I guess. No, this isn't right! But Mikey, you passed the tests! Yeah, but I don't feel different. If I'm back on the true path, shouldn't I be a new me? Just because I passed a couple tests doesn't mean I'm not lazy anymore. It doesn't mean I learned how to focus on the true path, or that I deserve to be tuning. I'm still just a shell of a goofball. But that's why we love you. Michelangelo. Huh? Your three tasks were essential to your graduation to tune in. But equally important is the unspoken test of humility. Uh, say what? Michelangelo, you have now proven yourself truly worthy. You're joking! I never joke. Well, rarely. Well, it's been increasingly apparent that you joke, at least in this season. Wait, are they at the Ninja Tribune now in 2105? Michelangelo. You have set both feet firmly back on the true path. Thank you. Wouldn't the Ninja Tribunal still be around? Join your brothers in the ninja rank of Chunin, with all of its privileges Ooh, and responsibilities. Sorry. All right, Mikey. Oh, that makes Wanna more celebrate? sense. Maybe down at the mall. Thanks, but I'll pass. I figure I can get in an extra hour's practice tonight. Yeah. Did I hear right? You know, I think I could use a little workout myself. Not without me. No way you're learning a new move I don't know about. Guess that makes four. Really? Okay. Uh, definitely this was my least favorite out of the three because there wasn't a lot of 
uh, jokes in it. Uh, there wasn't much fighting in it, although I love the creative ideas around uh, Mikey winning back his right to be moving through the next step as a ninja. That was kind of cool. And as I said, I wish it it could have been done with all the turtles because it could have been interesting. But I guess that would be would have taken too long. So yeah, I don't know. It was it was still a good episode. Um, I think this might be uh, the best three episodes so far that they've seen. But I think that's because I'm kind of nostalgic about them because I have seen them before so I kind of already have an appreciation for them. Meanwhile for the ones that I uh, am reacting for the first time, it's my first reaction so I haven't built up any emotional value towards them. But yeah, um, I guess I'm gonna give this one a 7.6 out of 10 because it was still a good episode uh, but it just wasn't as entertaining as the other ones and as I said I'm a bit tired so uh, because of that I wasn't even uh, paying attention at certain moments but yeah I really enjoyed these ones and I think that's pretty much it so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like subscribe also, check out the list in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there and to my Wattpad where I post my stories. Because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And uh, in addition to also being a writer, I also do reviews uh, to TV shows, movies, video games, anime, anything, you, anything like that, you name it. Uh, and I have started doing those uh, last week. I did a review to the most recent episode of The Walking Dead, which is one of my favorite shows. Um, in the next few days, I'm also gonna pull, uh, post a review to the most recent episode, uh, which was episode 10 of season 10. So if you're interested, you can check that out on my blog. Although at some point, I think I will be doing a review of the show. Although I don't know how extensive it's going to be. Whether it, I don't think it's gonna be that much more extensive than what I've already shared uh, about the episodes as I watch through them. But we'll see. So yeah, if you're interested, go follow uh, the blog. Uh, and if you enjoy those uh, reviews, enjoy my stories, or simply enjoy my videos, uh, you can head over to Patreon or subscribe. Star where you can pledge support and help keep the channel going, and help support me so I can uh, keep writing and keep reviewing and keep doing these videos. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out by liking this video, subscribing, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!